granulocyte colony stimulating factor, Wikipedia audio. 2D9Q, 1CD9, 1GNC, 1PGR, 1RHG. NM000759, NM001178147, NM172219, NM172220. NM009971 Biological function NP000750, NP0011761818, NP757373, NP757374 NP034101 Granulocyte colony stimulating factor, also known as colony stimulating factor 3, is a glycoprotein that stimulates the bone marrow to produce granulocytes and stem cells and release them into the bloodstream. Functionally, it is a cytokine and hormone, a type of colony stimulating factor, and is produced by a number of different tissues. The pharmaceutical analogues of naturally occurring GCSF are called filgrastim and lenigrastim. GCSF also stimulates the survival, proliferation, differentiation, and function of neutrophil precursors and mature neutrophils. GCSF is produced by endothelium, macrophages, and a number of other immune cells. The natural human glycoprotein exists in two forms, a 174 and 177 amino acid long protein of molecular weight 19,600 grams per mole. The more abundant and more active 174 amino acid form has been used in the development of pharmaceutical products by recombinant DNA technology. The gene for GCSF is located on chromosome 17, locus Q11.2Q12. Nagata et al. found that the GCSF gene has four introns, and that two different polypeptides are synthesized from the same gene by differential splicing of mRNA. The two polypeptides differ by the presence or absence of three amino acids. Expression studies indicate that both have authentic GCSF activity. It is thought that stability of the GCSF mRNA is regulated by an RNA element called the GCSF factor stem loop destabilizing element. Genetics Chemotherapy can cause myelosuppression and unacceptably low levels of white blood cells making patients susceptible to infections and sepsis. GCSF stimulates the production of granulocytes, a type of white blood cell. In oncology and hematology, a recombinant form of GCSF is used with certain cancer patients to accelerate recovery and reduce mortality from neutropenia after chemotherapy, allowing higher intensity treatment regimens. It is administered to oncology patients via subcutaneous or intravenous routes. GCSF was first trialed as a therapy for neutropenia induced by chemotherapy in 1988. The treatment was well tolerated and a dose-dependent rise in circulating neutrophils was noted. A study in mice has shown that GCSF may decrease bone mineral density. GCSF administration has been shown to attenuate the telomere loss associated with chemotherapy. GCSF is also used to increase the number of hematopoietic stem cells in the blood of the donor before collection by leukapheresis for use in hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. For this purpose, GCSF appears to be safe in pregnancy during implantation as well as during the second and third trimesters. Breastfeeding should be withheld for three days after CSF administration to allow for clearance of it from the milk.
People who have been administered colony stimulating factors do not have a higher risk of leukemia than people who have not. GCSF may also be given to the receiver in hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, to compensate for conditioning regimens. The skin disease sweets syndrome is a known side effect of using this drug. Medical use Chemotherapy-induced neutropenia Mouse granulocyte colony stimulating factor was first recognized and purified in Walter and Eliza Hall Institute, Australia in 1983, and the human form was cloned by groups from Japan and Germany slash United States in 1986. Before blood donation Stem cell transplants Side effect History Pharmaceutical variants The recombinant human GCSF synthesized in an E. coli expression system is called filgrastim. The structure of filgrastim differs slightly from the structure of the natural glycoprotein. Most published studies have used filgrastim. Filgrastim was first marketed by Amgen with the brand name Nupogen. Several biogeneric versions are now also available in markets such as Europe and Australia. Filgrastim and Peg Filgrastim are two commercially available forms of RHGCSF. The Peg form has a much longer half-life, reducing the necessity of daily injections. Another form of RHGCSF called lenigrastim is synthesized in Chinese hamster ovary cells. As this is a mammalian cell expression system, lenigrastim is indistinguishable from the 174 amino acid natural human GCSF. No clinical or therapeutic consequences of the differences between filgrastim and lenigrastim have yet been identified but there are no formal comparative studies. Research GCSF when given early after exposure to radiation may improve white blood cell counts, and is stockpiled for use in radiation incidents. ITSCO planned in 2004 to use GCSF to treat heart degeneration by injecting it into the bloodstream, plus SDF directly to the heart. GCSF has been shown to reduce inflammation, reduce amyloid beta burden, and reverse cognitive impairment in a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease. Due to its neuroprotective properties, GCSF is currently under investigation for cerebral ischemia in a clinical phase IIB and several clinical pilot studies are published for other neurological disease such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis a combination of human GCSF and cord blood cells has been shown to reduce impairment from chronic traumatic brain injury in rats.